apparatus on Facebook Live. So y'all give me a minute to get set up. Talk about sex. And, uh, talk about camera set back up. He's right back on with y'all. BT still on the phone? Yeah. Tell him, hold on. We're talking. I'll hang tough with you. How you doing, BT? Call him. Join the Cathedral Christ Church in Memphis and Corporate on Sunday at 1230 p.m. for our Spirit Little Worship Service. And each Wednesday at 630 p.m. for our Bible study. You do not want to miss these day of the services. We are a church for all people, and we welcome you as we transform. I got stuck in traffic on the interstate. I didn't know they were tearing up 240 with Poplars and Sam Cooper. It's one lane. I'm Dr. Darnell Goose Jr. And I'm stuck in traffic like 20 minutes. Cathedral Christ Church of Memphis and Corporate. We're not doing Sean's. Sean's still on break. Oh, she said stop rubbing your knee, too. In Memphis, condoms What's your man on break? Sean, uh, she's on break right to August. Well, you can tell us. Still, okay. She's not doing shit. Good. good for her. I know. LA shoes, they look real good at the wedding. She did their shoes. The one they were Talk about condoms. Let me tell you something from the back end. What's going on? Free condoms, Memphis.org. How many seconds we got? We're going to OD all of this technology up in this room, right? Too late. Already OD'd on the 15th. I am Unleashed Movement. I donated 20 or 15 dollars to Relationship Unleashed Organization. Everybody, this is Charity. Charity? Charity. That sounds like a social stripper. She is. What? She came up from Texas to make some money. I named Charity? Charity. I ain't got nothing on the day. Donate online at relationships. I don't know if it's going to join the campaign. Be back live. Go get tested for it. Because HIV and the Pharmacy Medic in the third leading cause of death. Even more surprising is the fact that this disease has become the leading cause of death for African American women between the ages of 25 and 34. What's that second? HIV and the single greatest health crisis currently confronting African American women. Turn to AM 990. Peace. Plain old boring shoes, that's played out. The same as Lane. Turn of the bling with Sean Clemens. Her boutique of customized kicks and other items can be found on Facebook and Instagram at that one cute dimple. Call her today at 265-5861. You bring it and she'll bling it. She'll be back on duty in August. The Unleashed Voice magazine is here and you can find it in a location near you. Side Street, Spin Street, Cafe Eclectic, and many other sites. Check out TVMag.com for exclusive content to sign up for subscriptions, and to get your business in our magazine. We want to advertise with you. Don't forget, TUVMag.com and follow our social media movements. Would you like to donate, become a sponsor with our radio show? Want to be a guest? Do you have any show ideas? Go to RelationshipUnleashed.com today and let your voice be heard. Want to call in? Call us, 901-260-5926. And we're back. This is the Unleashed mm -hmm. Voice for the LGBTQ community live right here on KWAM 990 Talk Radio, the baddest radio show in the land. Well, we educate, empower, and enrich the community. We got Pastor Cool Fisher in the house today, <laughs> Lady G to the Q, and we in this thing. It's hot in here. Turn the air on. That's just now. Gosh. All right, we got some callers online. Caller, you got 30 seconds. Don't come in here talking about that nest. We will hang up in your face. You live on the Unleashed Voice on KWAM 990 Talk Radio. Come on, caller. Hey. hey! Hey, Uh huh. Mm-hmm. 
Well, uh, no, they're not there. The dead is out there. What the? Well, I, I'm reluctant as a pastor yeah. to appropriate a God that yeah. is indiscriminate yeah. in terms of. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it. I, I get it. Now, uh, uh, yeah. So, I do I do believe uh, to a vast degree the text that says, do not be deceived, God is not mocked, that was a person sold, that shall be also reap. Mm -hmm. But what I am reluctant to try to endorse is a God who would allow a mass murder to take place Absolutely. of innocent people as a way to uh, punish the country for being racist and sexist and classist. So I think God is a little bit more intentional than that. I think God is a lot more compassionate than that. Absolutely. But I don't think God is ignorant and people are not, or an uh, organization in a country uh, is, is not judged based upon its uh, character and its, its practices. Oh, it's, it's well, I, it, it does, but once again, you know, it's your interpretation of God, but I, I just don't believe that's the kind of God we serve. We got some more callers on the line. I thank you for your questions. I appreciate you. Thanks for calling. Caller, you're live on the Bears Radio Show, KWAM 990 Talk Radio. Don't leave your voice. Go ahead. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Dave? All right. All right. Absolutely. 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 Shut your mouth and keep on talking. Yeah. I, hear, I hear some preaching. I hear some preaching. Uh -oh. Preach on. You got a witness. Jefferson, I don't want to rap with you. We're going to have to be through this United States Constitution. We're going to have to go through a whole lot of things so we can understand why we are here, how we got to this point, and how we can save our children uh, in the future. Well, I can tell you how we got to this point. If you get a chance, David, Google, just type in lynching pictures <laughs> and hit images. Yeah. Now just Google, just Google lynching pictures, and when you click on images, you see these lynchings of these black people on these trees, this strange fruit hanging. And all around these black people, you see men in suits. You don't see nobody with no overalls on. You don't see nobody with no clan hoods on. They have suits. They are dressed up with hats and everything. And that's, that's who right now, they're doing the same thing to us. Those men, white men in these suits right now, who are making all these decisions, voting on these laws, putting our people in jail. They are right now ruining us and has ruined our race. In the words of Malcolm X, who taught you to hate yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. But 
it doesn't just stop with the police. You gotta come back to this this housing and this lending law. And right now we got gentrification going on in our city right now. Or read about Robert R. Church and what Boss Crump did at Robert R. Church. Demanding yeah. them suits. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? Before he got church, before Crump did it, he used church to endorse him to get him in office. Uh -huh. Then he turned on him. So I think part of what we're discussing again goes back to what I'm talking about in terms of things being comprehensive. Right? We got comprehensive issues. Mm -hmm. So we can't keep saying, all we got to do is get a bill passed. All we got to do is get a black guy in office. All we got to do is get all of the millionaires together. All we got to do is one thing or the other. I think, let, let me finish this right quick, brother. I, I, I think I think if we would be a little bit more um, affirming of every method and measure Hello. against white supremacy and heteropatriarchy, then we can see more progress. But right now, and I've experienced this in my own involvement in the movement, conversations I've had with organizers and leaders and stuff like that, I'm like, this group over here, who is doing something in economics is mad because the people over here who are doing something about criminal justice reform ain't doing stuff in economics. Why don't the people in economics just say, okay, well, we're going to handle the economic justice stuff. We need y'all who are doing criminal justice reform to do that. We need y'all who are doing uh, uh, faith-based leadership to do that. We need y'all who are working against uh, uh, sexism and classism to do that. We did need y'all who are in housing to do that. No, I, I don't think I asked the question. I think that's. You know I'm, why we why why we, they want we won't do? Yeah, she, she I was saying why why she we can't come together. Why I don't believe we can. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm no, trying to figure no, out too, bro. It's not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if, if you got the answer, you just gonna let it out, drop it. Because we we have been taught not to trust each other, hmm. and, and and we won't. I will not help you. Advance in your area because you're gonna get more than me. Right. We and, operate out of what's called it, the scarcity principle, is, where we think it ain't never enough to go around for exactly. everybody. Yeah. And, and that's a white, the yeah, that's a white supremacist principle too, right? right. So I'm gathering the suits. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we, we have a deep. Now. We have a deep. Yeah. We got another comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. It is. And yeah, freedom ain't free. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, David. Well, David, I promise you, we're going to keep this conversation going all month long. Well, all month long. Thank you. And if we need to go next month, we'll go next month too. Well, that's one of the good things, advantages, that you're not, your hands are not tied, and you're not bound by politics, and nobody, we, nobody, nobody's in our pocket, but we're not in their pocket. Hello. Hello, somebody. So, you know, this We're year, sure. Pastor, it's 469 congressional seats up for re-election mm -hmm. across the United States. Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. So, that's one way to make your your mark and your presence. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, shake this house up, these uh -huh. Trump supporters. Cause we got some more pressing issues that's gonna be coming behind this if if things take that turn and go left. Earlier this week at our Senate we hosted the second installment of the White Haven Community Forum, mm -hmm. where our elected and ex aspiring elected officials that chance to come and talk about some of the work that they've been doing in their various seats, mm -hmm. or maybe some people could press them on the work that they haven't been doing, mm -hmm. because our people just aren't informed. Like, exactly. Most people know that there's an election in November. A lot of people don't even know that there's an election in August. And guess right. what? The, the, the cutoff is, I think, is a, was it last week? In terms of registration? Yeah. Yeah, the register, if you're trying to register for the August election, which is the local election, yeah, you can't register right. now, but you can yeah, still like register for November. Mm -hmm. But we've been we've been doing registration, and, and this is what I mean by a comprehensive approach. And everybody got you know, everybody got to chip away at this thing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So so you, so you got to register to vote. Absolutely. Right. You got you got to write your Congress people. Absolutely. Uh, you got to go to school board meetings Absolutely. and deal with them folks. You got to press the mayor to be more 